change in the database. I mean, on that basis alone, the bank should be all over this, and this should be a main tent event rather than something stuck in this, or stuck in this gone there. Um, but, um, so, let's, let's move beyond financial services for a second and explore the kind of bigger opportunity. And uh, it sort of takes us into the world of, of these new business models of which the, uh, the DAO is one. Let's just do a sanity check here. Who has heard of the Distributed Autonomous Organization? Hands, please. Okay, who has not? Okay, who didn't put up their hand? Hands? Okay. So, um, most people have heard of the, the uh, we'll call it the DAO, but before we get into what happened, what's the opportunity here to change the way that we orchestrate capability in society to, to innovate, create goods and services? I think it's uh, important to distinguish between, quote, the DAO and uh, the concept of DAOs in general. I think the uh, concept of decentralized automation in general is a very powerful one, and I think that there really is a lot of promise in rethinking how we conduct a, a lot of our uh, activities in the economy and in society, like including finance, including insurance, um, including identity, um, all these different things, and like rethink how they could potentially be done in a more decentralized way. And I think that uh, if you start thinking about things in that way, then there are a lot of new paradigms, a lot of like, fairer paradigms, more efficient paradigms, more resilient paradigms that could emerge out of something like that. So, the, and uh, actually one of the interesting things is how a lot of these new ideas, sometimes they are genuinely new ideas, but sometimes they actually are fairly old ideas that are, get sort of upgraded into the 21st century. Mm -hmm. So one interesting example is if you look at insurance, like the ins insurance in the 1800s basically was mutual insurance. It was basically, uh, sh you know, 10 ship owners would come together and they make an agreement that says if any of our ships uh, decided uh, to uh, sink or collapse or uh, get uh, attacked by a pirate or whatever, like we'd all chip in to cover it. And over time, because of, once again, the efficiency limitations of information technology at the time, it's only moved to a more centralized model. But now we have the 21st century, we have information technologies that are capable of coordinating the thousands or millions of people at once, and we can actually revisit some of these old models and we can get back the benefits of them with together with the efficiencies that until recently were thought were only possible in a centralized context. So I think like all of those ideas in general are very valuable and it's going to take years and you know, potentially even longer to sort through all the possibilities and figure out in every single industry what actually is possible and what's the right way to approach it. So those of you who don't know about the, the DAO, the, uh, the, the theory here is that blockchains radically draw 